Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I realised this morning it's been six months since I've been down the Monkland Canal, so I thought I'd come down today, have a wander around, see what's changed. So yeah, today is all about seeing if I can create any images without a big fancy lens or anything like that. I'm using a simple point and shoot camera, no zoom, nothing like that. So really just want to see if it's possible to create some images down at what is a lovely location without a fancy camera. So let's go. So it's quite a dull overcast day. Um, so I don't think there's going to be any award winning photographs today, but it's really just to get out and stretch the legs. And as always, next to no litter, which is nice. Another great job by the Friends of Monklands Canal. Always love the light and shadow play on the underside of that bridge. Probably another shot or two coming up here. Yeah, for anybody that's interested in the settings that I'm using, I've basically got the camera set in manual mode and uh, what I'm doing is I've set the ISO to automatic so the camera's selecting that. I've selected a shutter speed of 1 over 50th of a second because it's a 28mm lens so that should be more than enough handheld shots and I've set an aperture of f8 and literally I'm just pointing and shooting at anything that catches my eye attention so there won't be any information about individual settings for each shot because they're all shot under exactly the same uh, settings uh, it's a challenge but it's good to challenge yourself now and again eh?
So, um, because everything's been set either manually or by the camera, and it's a fixed lens and I'm using a fixed um, focus, fixed shutter speed, fixed aperture, the only real things that are available to me to make the image different in any way is going to be how I edit them and the crop that I use, you know, do I go for a 16 by 9 or a square factor or a 3 by 4 or whatever. So hopefully this video will show you the difference that those few things can make to an image. I'm sure the last time I was here, back in October, we had a, a huge branch in the in the canal, but I can't see it, so I think that must have been moved. Yeah, it's quite an interesting experiment, this. Because I don't have a, any kind of zoom on the camera, it literally is just point and shoot. Um, I'm obviously having to walk more to get the compositions, but it's also making you think in advance about what you're going to shoot. And thinking's never a bad thing, right? Quite enjoying this. Right, I'm up at that little retaining wall at the old basin. That's probably one of my favourite parts of the canal. I just love the the way the light's reflecting up on the underside of these leaves. And the way the light hits that wall and that ivy is just incredible. What I'm really enjoying here just now is there's a leaf just down in the water there. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but there is a leaf there. And I'm thinking that in terms of editing, using a little bit of selective colour, I'm going to work on that leaf, make it pop, make it stand out a little bit more than it probably does to the naked eye. That's nice. I'm just waiting for it to pick up a little bit of light and then I'll take the shot. Those waves are quite psychedelic, aren't they? They're quite trippy. I wonder if there's a shot there. So, uh, just for the newsletter subscribers, I'm shooting this on uh, April the 6th and uh, I finally got that um, grant money through this morning. So, 
project eight has become live as of today. So as soon as I'm finished here, I'm actually going to head into Glasgow and do a little riverside walk along the Clyde and try to get some images there. And if you're not yet subscribed to the newsletter, then I'll leave a link below. Just uh, follow the link and sign up. All, all we need is your name and email address. See, this is why it's good to get out. Because I came out thinking I was going to shoot one thing. Not anticipating these weird waves on the surface of the, the canal. And suddenly I'm obsessed with reflections and the abstract shapes that they're, they're making. Yeah, it looks like we might have lost the light on this stretch. I was hoping these uh, trees would still be catching the light. Uh, oh, hello. I'll wait around for a couple of minutes and see what happens. So that's us for another video, hope you enjoyed, give us a little thumbs up if you did and uh, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already, um, hit subscribe as well for the newsletter if you haven't done that, it's only one newsletter a month, it's entirely free and you get lots more information behind the scenes sort of stuff and some content that isn't available on YouTube. Hopefully the video showed you that even with a basic fixed lens point and shoot camera you can get some reasonable images. So uh, there's nothing really that I took today that you wouldn't have been able to take with uh, a mobile phone. In fact, probably most of the more modern mobile phones have better sensors than, than what I'm using. So you have no excuse to not get out and uh, grab a couple of shots in your local area. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye.